This estuary is one of the few places in the world where hippos and crocs share the water with sharks. The marsh on either side is almost impenetrable, protecting this wilderness from the outside world. But even this place has changed since I was last here. A long drought means the river hasn't reached the sea for seven years. But soon I reach the beautiful waters of Lake St. Lucia and an isolated corner of Africa, just as I remember it. Yeah, that vervet monkeys. Just in the jungle, they're calling. It's an alarm call. Could be anything. It could be a leopard, but it could be my python. It's worth having a look. It's not always easy to spot snakes, so it helps having friends in high places. Monkeys up here, a lot of them, and they're chattering away. There's something here. Here's what the monkeys were going on about. It's a forest cobra, and a big one, too. He's climbing up the tree. There he goes. These guys are unusual and slightly different from other cobras in just that fact. They like to climb trees, and they get away really quickly if you don't catch them. The monkeys consider these guys very dangerous, so that's why the monkeys were calling like that, and rightly so, too, because it's a highly venomous snake. Neurotoxic venom, just like all the other cobras. Come on. There, I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. He's a big boy. That's fantastic. Oh, look at him looking at my back. Forest cobra. Got to get a camera. This snake is found only in this area. It's unique. And it's the biggest cobra found in Southern Africa. Look at me. Go on. Its venom is extremely potent. A single bite could paralyze and even kill me. Giving a little bit of a hit. I'm getting a bit of a hood. He can stand a lot taller than that. He's beautiful. That's it. He's thinking about... He's thinking about fooling with me. I want to get a real close-up while he's doing this hood for me. This mustn't get him striking at my hand. If I keep very still, very calm, go right in there. Oh, that's it, a high hood. Look how high that hood can go. He's just warning me. Just warning me. Isn't he gorgeous? He's so gorgeous, eh? How gorgeous are you? Hey, are you wise? Yeah, he's just giving me a warning, eh? Look at this boy. That's a nice boy. I just love to do that. I've got to touch a cobra. When a cobra makes a hood, you've just got to feel that hood. I just keep wanting to photograph. That's the problem. I get addicted to this. When do I see another forest cobra? I just want to take a few more. All right, that's fantastic. I'm going to let him go. He's been so good. He's been so good. OK, that should do it. Tricky bits now just to get to his tail. Nearly got him. There, there. I've got him. I'm going to just put him right here. Put him down here. You're going to climb? You can get away now. Isn't this a wonderful snake? Yeah, that hiss. It's just giving me a little warning. OK, he looks up straight away. He says, oh, that's the way out. Fantastic snake. Fantastic shoot. I love it. Off he goes. <laughs> 